Imagine this sentence. This statement is false. Is it true or false? If it's true, then the statement itself is false. But if it's false, then the statement must be true. This paradox, often called the liar's paradox, reveals the limitations of language itself. But in the early 20th century, mathematician Kurt Gödel used a similar idea to expose a deep truth about mathematics, a truth so profound it's considered one of the greatest discoveries in logic. In mathematics, a beautiful dance unfolds between proofs and statements. A proof is a logical argument, a step-by-step -step explanation that shows why a statement about numbers is true. These arguments are built on axioms, which are basically undeniable truths about numbers. Every mathematical system, from basic arithmetic to complex calculus, relies on these axioms. For centuries, mathematicians held a cherished belief that any true mathematical statement could be proven using these axioms. It was a dream of certainty, a belief that all mathematical truths could be laid bare through the power of logic. But the early 20th century brought a rude awakening. Mathematicians were grappling with new paradoxes that threatened this very certainty. One such paradox, Russell's paradox, nearly brought set theory, a fundamental branch of mathematics, crashing down. Gödel wasn't convinced that the mm -hmm. tools of mathematics itself were sufficient to tackle these paradoxes. Unlike our self-referential sentence, mathematical statements are typically clear-cut, true or false. But Gödel, a true visionary, had a radical idea. He figured out a way to translate mathematical statements and equations into a special code. This allowed him to represent complex mathematical ideas with a single number. Here's the ingenious part. Statements written in this code could also talk about themselves. Gödel's discovery is mind-blowing because we now have a true mathematical statement that says it cannot be proven. This is the essence of Gödel's incompleteness theorem. It introduces a whole new class of mathematical statements. Statements that are true but unprovable within a specific set of axioms. In Gödel's world, statements can be true or false. But true statements can also be proven or unprovable depending on the system of axioms you're using. Gödel argued that these unprovably true statements exist in any system of axioms, no matter how complex or robust. This means it's impossible to create a perfect and complete system of mathematics. There will always be true statements that we cannot prove within that system. Even if you try to fix this by adding these unprovably true statements as new axioms, you'll just create new unprovably true statements. It's an infinite loop, a testament to the inherent limitations of any formal system. Imagine a sentence in a language that could say, this sentence is grammatically incorrect. Gödel, in essence, created a mathematical language where statements could refer to themselves. Using this method, Gödel was able to write down an equation that said, in mathematical terms, this statement cannot be proven within this system of axioms. This was the first self-referential mathematical statement. But unlike our earlier ambiguous sentence, mathematical statements must be true or false. So what is it? If the statement is false, then it can be proven within the system, which contradicts itself. This contradiction shows that Gödel's statement can't be false, and therefore it must be true. But that means the statement cannot be proven within the system. Gödel's theorem shook the foundations of mathematics. It showed that some truths can never be proven within a specific system. While some mathematicians worried about the implications of this discovery, Gödel's theorem also opened doors. The idea of unprovably true statements provided a theoretical framework for the development of early computers. Today, mathematicians dedicate their careers to identifying provably unprovable statements, a testament to the ongoing quest for knowledge within the boundaries Gödel himself defined. So, while Gödel may have shown that mathematics isn't perfect, it also forced mathematicians to embrace the unknown at the heart of any quest for truth. It's a reminder that even the most rigorous systems leave room for wonder, 
for the unexpected, and for the beauty of a truth that can only be glimpsed, not fully grasped. This is the Brain Maze, signing off.